from identifying the right replacement product to final checks, ensuring full vehicle performance, Valio will describe the step-by-step -step instructions to ensure you will get complete satisfaction from your Valio Kit 4P solution. Valio Clutch Kit 4P is fully listed in TechDoc. You can download from TechDoc the specific fitting instructions related to each Kit 4P. The Valio Kit 4P box contains a rigid flywheel, a driver plate including long travel damper technology, a cover, a bearing if it's mechanical, a pack of bolts, a bag of grease, a Kit 4P sticker and detailed fitting tips. To undertake the replacement correctly, you will need the following tools. Torque wrench and extensions, impact driver, ratchet and socket set, wire brush, flywheel blocking tool, centering tool, screwdriver. Notice that you don't need a specialist clutch fitting tool to fit Valio Kit 4P. While ensuring working area is secured enough, remove the gearbox. Disassemble cover and drive plate. Block DMF to avoid self-rotation and remove it. Check the crankshaft seal in order to ensure there is no oil. Now check the engine pins to ensure they aren't bent or damaged. Clean the crankshaft and check its seal. Make sure that when pushed, the push road at the receiver cylinder can slide smoothly. Check as well that it does not leak oil. Check engine and gearbox mounts. Verify there are no cracks and rubber is in good condition. Check the free play in the powertrain. Once done, begin work on the gearbox. Now check the clutch release mechanism. If vehicle has a mechanical bearing, disassemble it. Depending on the car, you may have to disassemble the fork. On the hydraulic command system, check there is no oil contamination and smooth bearing operation. If in doubt or mileage over 60,000 miles, replace it. Check the gearbox input shaft seal. Check that there is no oil coming from the gearbox. Otherwise, change the input shaft seal. Ensure there are no excessive marks or wear on the guiding tube surface. On mechanical release mechanisms, check the fork is sliding correctly and no excessive wear on the fork fingers. Make sure there are no burrs nor any marks on the input shaft. Finally, check the assembly holes ensuring gearbox assembly is clean, not deformed, no irregularity, no mark, no burrs. Here everything looks okay. We can now proceed with assembly, starting with fitting the bearing. Apply a small quantity of grease on the fork axle as well as on the input shaft splines. Assemble bearing on the guiding tube and fork you will hear a snap. Once heard, ensure the movement is smooth. Now we are ready to assemble flywheel, drive plate and cover. Position flywheel on the crankshaft. Note that only one position is possible. Fit the bolts manually. Block the flywheel to apply the tightening torque. Tighten smoothly each screw, respecting a star-like sequence with the appropriate wrench. Never use an impact driver. Pay attention to the fitting torque displayed in the fitting instruction provided in the box while setting up your torque wrench. Complete the fastening in a star-like sequence. Do 
one more turn of all bolts to check they're all fastened. You should hear a click for each bolt. Then ensure the drive plate fits correctly in the input shaft. Ensure the drive plate is in the correct position as marked on it. It is very important to carefully check this point. Place the drive plate on the cover. Position both cover and drive plate on the rigid flywheel. In our case, and typically, there are three possible fittings. Pay attention to the fact that in some cases, only one fitting position is available. Please note that only a centering tool is required. Position the bolts manually. Again, tighten smoothly each bolt with a wrench, respecting a star-like sequence. Set up the torque wrench with the correct torque. Then, complete the fastening in the star-like sequence. If needed, all detailed information is available in TechDoc. The Valio Kit 4P fitting sequence is now complete. You may have noticed it was a really quick and easy operation. It is now time to reassemble the gearbox. Always use the gearbox jack to avoid hitting and damaging the clutch. Once fitment is complete, don't forget to display the Kit 4P sticker on the bell housing. This sticker indicates this vehicle is fitted with a specific Valio clutch module. In case it is required, the fitting instruction indicates the associated service kit part number. Once the vehicle is completely reassembled, proceed to the usual compulsory checks. Engage and disengage the clutch pedal. In neutral gear, rev the engine up to 5000 RPM to check there is no noise or abnormal vibration. Shifting each gear ratio, including reverse gear. And ensure there is no abnormal noise. Finally, perform a road test in normal driving conditions to ensure there is no clutch slippage and smooth gear change. Fitting a Valio Clutch Kit 4P is easy, quick and reliable, and doesn't require specialist tools. This Valio solution enables full customer satisfaction. If you need one of the best IAM service, choose Valio Original Quality. The Valio Clutch Kit 4P solution is also used by some car manufacturers.